Hello and welcome to Painting Time. Um, we're going to get a little crazy today. I'm going to try something that I've seen just a few videos of and every video I've seen of it they did it on a little 4x4 tile or an 8x8 canvas but I don't have anything small. So we're just going to go crazy and do it on a 14x14. 14 14. And if it works, it works and if it doesn't, who cares? It's paint. I can scrape it. So let's get on with this experiment. We got a lot of colors today. I'm hoping this is going to be really pretty when we're done. We're going to start with Folk Art Daffodil Yellow. Folk Art Fire Coral. Uh, the next one is a combination of Craftsmart Dark Orange and Craftsmart Flame because I didn't have enough dark orange left. You gotta use what you got. Next is Liquitex Basics Medium Magenta. If this works, it's gonna be really cool, guys. Um, Liquitex Basics Deep Violet. Liquitex Basics Halo Cyanine Blue. Ooh, don't drop the cup. Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue. And Folk Art Wicker White. And we're going to start by flooding the board. We're going to flood it with our standard uh, house paint with poor mixture and some water. Okay, so let's get flooding. And I will show you the craziness we are going to try today. Let me make sure that's back in your vision properly. It's take a few minutes. All right. Now, the first thing I need to do for this type of pour is I'm going to take my handy dandy piece of string, which hopefully won't stick to me so that, you know what, I'm going to torch this board first. Wait a second, let's get this airplane out. something in the paint. Hey, there. Okay. Now we're going to take our handy dandy piece of string because I need to know exactly where the center of my board is. So we're just going to put a marking line. Won't really matter too much. Just a quick little line. Gives me an idea where the center is. And we're going to take our little cup here. This is actually the bottom of a soda bottle. And we're going to set that right there. This is our new paint pour tool. All right. Now let's see if this is going to work. So we're going to start. We're going to pour our paint into the center here and it's going to go down these rivulets onto our board if all works according to plan.
sort of not want to have too much paint still on that cup. And we're going to carefully lift the cup. Okay. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright, now, where did I put that toothpick? Now we're going to have some fun. something bigger than two things just not pulling out of me. There's my pen. Let's see if I'm going to do it. Let's see if I'm going to do it. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I'm liking that. Look at that. It's a little off center, but we'll work with it. All right, now comes the hard part. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I know in theory how this works. But we're going to take our big sheet of plastic and we're going to lay it carefully. Oh, my hands are so dirty. I'm getting all over the plastic. So, in theory, we lay the plastic down and gently press it into the paint. Now we are not smearing it or rubbing it. We are just going to press it down onto the paint. Oh, please work. Please work. That's a lot of paint. Okay, now comes the super messy part and we see if this worked. Now we got to take the plastic off. Can you see that? Really well? Yeah, you can see pretty well. All right. So, in theory, we slowly pull those two corners together up high, and this corner, and this corner. And you start pulling it in and up. Oh, too much paint. And I think the paint was a little too thin. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> but no, it didn't quite work right. I didn't quite pull it straight enough. Sort of smushed it a bit. But that is one pretty cool painting. Okay. Whoa, look at the cells popping up. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, really messy people. Really, really messy, there's paint everywhere. Oh, I hope this dries okay and it doesn't move. Or spoosh out, because it's a little thinner than it should be. And I put a lot of paint on there, but look at the color. Oh my God, it's just gorgeous. Uh, this better dry right, or I'm gonna cry. Today's experiment worked make sure this gets put on a nice level. Have to make sure the table goes on as level because he's a little bit. Oh, so beautiful. All right, let me bring you down for a closer look because this is awesome. Oh, best painting in a long time. This, the, the colors are just phenomenal in this. And I'm so happy I'm having trouble getting my gloves off. Hold on. All right, I got my gloves off. I got you brought down and round. Look at the colors. Look at the cells and the swirls of color. If this doesn't dry right, I will cry. If it like runs or smears or something happens to it. Look at these cells and the color. 
Oh, it's so vivid and bright. What a great first try at a new type of pour. All right, I'm gonna let this baby dry and I'll let you get some pictures once it's had a little sit time. Thanks for joining me.